against him, particularly with regard to the security situation in Nigeria? Uh, uh, President Muhammad Buhari is somebody that, uh, first of all, let me go to your main issue. You know, I've read scripture in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek from cover to cover in multiple translations. You know, I've gone around the world to read, read scripture. And it's unfortunate that a lot of people, I don't understand that scripture actually commands pastors to stand up to oppressors. You read that in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 17. As a matter of fact, Christianity is named after uh, Jesus Christ. His real name is Yeshua, but some people call him Jesus Christ. And then Jesus Christ actually stood up to Herod. He called Herod that old fox and he warned herod so it's um it's not true that um, men of god are meant to be lenient with oppressors no scripture asks us to pray for oppressors but it doesn't ask us to pray to, to pray that they change but it doesn't ask us to be lenient with them now regarding muhammad Buhari, the thing is i if you recall if you go down and you mentioned my twitter profile when muhammad Buhari was elected this morning i actually promised to work with him to help him improve but then on July 12th of 2015, he went to the United States Institute for Peace and he said, and I'm quoting, those that gave me 5% of the vote cannot expect it to be treated the same as those that gave me 97% of the vote. Right there and then, because I'm a Democrat, I said, no, I'm going to resist this man. I, I mean, I thought this man was going to be for everybody. And I'm not going to allow this. I'll give you a very good example. Look. You talked about the uh, Minister of Defense, Magashi, saying that Nigeria should defend themselves. What's happening right now in the East, in Olu? Nigerians in Olu, they took up, they defended themselves against killer headsmen who are on the rampage uh, against their communities. And what have we seen? The, the, uh, the, this administration has sent helicopter gunships, soldiers, artillery there. So what are you talking about? First and foremost, it's an indictment on this administration to ask Nigerians to protect themselves. Then why do we need a government? The first order of government is security of life and property. Muhammad Buhari is more interested in regime security than in national security. They tell you that they really cannot do anything. Do they have helicopter gunships right now in Niger State, Kagara, searching for the boys that were abducted two days ago? They don't, but they have helicopter gunships in all you going after people who have put into effect their inalienable rights of self-defense. Well, thank you very much, uh, Reno Mokri, uh, for joining us this morning on the uh, Morning Show. We'll take a short break now. When we return, we'll be talking to Mo Abu.